Hello everybody, uh, my name is Magdalena Matiasik. I will talk to you from Poland, from Poznan University of Life Sciences. Um, you, uh, you can see the pictures from those plays and then I exactly will talk to you from, from Poland. Yeah? The, the part I would like to present today is related to the nutrition and I would like to just uh, underline that behind me uh, or together with me we're working to a uh, nice person i can always rely on their comments on their support this is professor yasen kagaidovic from the uh, from the croatia and uh, and professor goretti botello from the from the portugal um, so ladies thank you so much for your support uh, today I would like to present you the part uh, or actually one uh, topic related to, uh, to nutrition, uh, uh, which will be the part of the um, um, bigger contents. Uh, I will talk to you about the, uh, the categorization uh, of vegetarian diet definition and its relation to the nutritional value. Uh, because this is the ones of the topic we planned, we planned to uh, to introduce uh, the subject we will work uh, with. Um, as you can see, this is the whole uh, whole contents uh, divided for the for the five points. The plant diets categorization is the ones of them. Actually, is the shortest uh, shortest classes we planned. But later on, we'll discuss and we'll teach them about the macro and micronutrients in vegetarian diets, about the nutritional value. We will discuss about the bioavailability and bioaccessibility of the vegan diets and nutrients there. Uh, the very interesting classes, according to my opinion, they, this is complementation, uh, complementation in vegan diet because this is the classes related to the Libic law. And we will teach the, 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 our, our students about the, about the um, possibility to complement the deficiencies on the, on the vegetarian diet. And the last one, concluding this, uh, uh, this, um, uh, this module, is related to the health, uh, health uh, aspects of the vegetarian diet. So uh, let's uh, start, let's, uh, let's concentrate on the first point, which I, uh, I would like to, uh, to present you uh, today. This is the vegetarian diet categorization, all the definitions, its relation to nutritional value. The, uh, the first outcome uh, um, from this for this topic is just to make understandable uh, the types of the vegetarian diets, uh, be able to define what is the differences because our uh, our uh, auditorium should know how to distinguish between them. But before we will reach this uh, this uh, this aim, this outcome, uh, the first task will be just discussion and uh, some kind of the brainstorm method uh, to define uh, with, the, uh, with the auditorium what is sustainability, uh, how they understand sustainability, because this is, as you can see on this slide, um, the concept of the uh, of the sustainability is quite old because it was defined in 2010 and uh, combining two uh, two different perspective perspective from the nutrition uh, for the nutritional value focus on the individuals uh, and uh, a global sustainability perspective uh, and all its, its dimensions about it, yeah, environmental, economic, and social, yeah. And discussion about the sustainability always is just a struggling with that two points of view, because I'm uh, I'm a nutritionist, uh, so that's why uh, that's why I will much more concentrate on the nutrition perspective, yeah. Uh, which uh, which uh, uh, which is of course more closer to me because of my my background, yeah. Um, and uh, 
sustainable diets are generally defined by the uh, by the food and agriculture organization of the united nations uh, as nutritionally adequate and healthy safe uh, culturally acceptable and economically fair and affordable and having little environmental uh, impact ideal isn't it yeah and uh, but before i will get uh, with my auditorium that definitions and to under uh, an understanding of it this is just a uh, short material which we will using for the brainstorm for the group um and this is the uh, key components, determinants, factors and processes of sustainable diet. Yeah, um, that's what I mentioned you previ previously. I will uh, I will concentrate on the uh, on the uh, nutrition. So uh, these large green ovals represent the key uh, comments of the sustainable diet uh, as defined by uh, uh, by FAO. And, biodiver and biodiversity in 2010, as I mentioned, when it was defined, yeah? And I would like our auditorium, before we concentrate and we will get to the point to elimination of the meat from the diet and definition how much we can uh, uh, remove the meat from the diet and what it means for the nutritional value, uh, mm, uh, mm, they discuss and they, I would just divide depends of the amount the sub, uh, people in the group. I will will divide them uh, in the group and uh, give them the fields like uh, well-being, health, biodiversity, um, uh, eco-friendly, and so on and so on. Uh, can you what you can see on the on those slides and. Uh, ask them to think over uh, what for them means uh, sustainable diet from the perspective of the well-being and health yeah i'm pretty sure that we will get to the point about the uh, uh, about the of course about the different uh, different uh, um, um, elimination of the uh, meat origin foods from the diet and to get to the world of the vegetarianism yeah uh, which will be uh, which will be the most important and key point uh, our uh, our discussion for the next uh, next slide you can see the plant based diet that's what we uh, we are talking about uh, this is the something what is partially uh, fashionable uh, that's what they must realize of course uh, because the, uh, we, we observe the Western societies notice an increasing interest in the plant-based diet, eating patterns such as avoiding of the meat or fish uh, uh, or fully excluding animal product. So in that moment, we must distinguish between vegetarian and vegan and talk about this distinguishing and avoiding and removing the removing the uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the the meat from the from the diet means how far and how deeply we will go and uh, uh, how much we will remove and what stays there because this is our uh, the, our point of the interest um, this is the next brainstorming and uh, uh, and the ability to discuss with the group, divide them for the group, make uh, some competent competition, just to ask them because then knowledge about the uh, basic uh, basic rules of the vegetarian, uh, distinguishing some, some sometimes between vegan and vegetarians. Uh, 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 is is already in the population known. So, um, it, of course, it de depends uh, on the group. But I'm hoping that they will have some basic, same basic, uh, basic information. And uh, here we go. We get to the general categorization of the vegetarian diets. I would like to introduce them the some kind of the general categorization. Uh, uh, related to the level of the uh, reducing of the meat origin foods, yeah. Uh, on, the, on the top, 
uh, here you uh, have a vegan, uh, uh, the topic uh, uh, we are working on, or, or total vegetarian. Sometimes we call them total vegetarian. Uh, this is the group of the vegetarian uh, who exclude all animal products, especially meat, seafood, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. Uh, and uh, this is the the name which uh, does doesn't require the consumption of the whole food or restrict fat or refined sugars because uh, of course most of the vegetarians and very often they pay attention on it they are doing uh, uh, they are removing it from the diet uh, uh, but this is not necessary on that level of the definition of the vegan uh, diet yeah we will talk um, about the different modification vegan diet, like using only raw food. Um, so just the, uh, like exclusion as the vegetarian as well, the exclusion of the all food cooked at the temperature greater than, than uh, 118 Fahrenheit uh, uh, and such indicators. That might be the modification of the, of the vegetarian, uh, vegetarian diet. Um, the name which will be very often used uh, in the in um, uh, in the public is lacto vegetarian or ovo vegetarian or mixture of those two names lacto ovo vegetarians, and this is just discussion what means lacto what means ovo and how to exclude how much exclude and what it means exclude because uh, sometimes in the food and the uh, production of the foods. Uh, we are using very often the eggs or uh, all uh, lacto or milk product, milk additives. Yeah, so um, avoiding those foods or including those foods in the diet means that somebody um, uh, define themselves like lacto vegetarian, ovo vegetarian, or lacto ovo vegetarian. And here uh, you have a you have a written what it means. Yeah. Uh, between the modification of the diets related to the vegetarianism, uh, nowadays we can find the Mediterranean diet, yeah, Mediterranean dietary habits or dietary patterns, yeah. Um, and what it is include is a special type of the, the dietary patterns related related with the using some special group of the fruits and vegetables, fishes, olive oil, which are behind that increased nutritional value of those diet yeah what was what's already told in many many papers and i think we will make a uh, during the classes uh, when we will plan the the uh, some uh, some classes are uh, related to nutritional value of the diets the special information about the nutritional value of the vegetarian diet yeah because they are some kind of not strict vegetarian uh, diets yeah the whole foods that i already mentioned about uh, about it the this is the group uh, of the of course plant based diet with the low fat it's the, this is this kind of the modification in encourages uh, encourages to the to using um um the uh, vegetables and uh, seeds, nuts. Uh, uh, this, is, this is just maximization for the health benefits. Uh, that's the argumentation of the uh, of the of those diets. What I would like to uh, pay your uh, attention is that the general rule if the ve in vegetarian diets, what we should realize is that the Plant origin foods uh, should be in the 75 percentage of the staff using on those diet, yeah, uh, and the, the the 25 percent. This is might be some uh, some uh, uh, lacto ovo additives if they are not strict, yeah. But the vegan diet, this is the avoiding all animal products, what I I define at the start, at, at the, the beginning of the discussion. But even those kind of the uh, vegan diet is related to some, uh, some uh, uh, modification. And I would like to discuss uh, with the auditorium uh, 
what it means for them and finally define uh, what kind of the food uh, is on the basic stuff or on those diets. Yeah, and let's start from the vegan diet where the grains, legumes, which, which should be uh, on the much higher level of the consumption in comparison to the others diet let's not define yet those diet the vegeta vegetables fruits nuts and seeds so the foods about the, with the increased uh, nutritional density uh, what food are avoided in the vegan diet all kind of the meat product like uh, poultry fish diary eggs um, uh, even foods with a small amount of added animal products, such as uh, casein uh, or uh, gelatin, uh, and they are so, also uh, generally avoided as well. Yeah? Um, some of the vegans, they avoid even the foods that involve animal processing, such as uh, white sugar, beer or vinegar. Yeah? So, um, uh, What's from the nutritional point of view, how it looks like the nutritional value of those diet? Yeah, of course, if we avoid all uh, animal uh, origin uh, stuff, uh, we must consider uh, fortification and some vitamins present, uh, present in, the, in those food. I mean the cyanocobalamin, uh, B12 vitamin. Um, uh, because those type of diet, especially if it's lasting a longer than four and five or five years, because we have a storage of those vitamins in the organism, require using a food supplementation. Yeah, um, those diet depends on the country uh, vegan are living. Uh, might also require vitamin D fortification foods. Uh, uh, so especially if there is no sun exposure, yeah, like uh, islands or uh, there is no no uh, deficiency of vitamin D uh, in uh, in Indian for for example countries, yeah. But let's go future for the discussion about the types of the veg vegetarianism and the level of the uh, of the avoiding, yeah, uh, um, the group of the food consumed. Uh, uh, here I, I added some diary products because we are adding the next uh, next group of the uh, next group of, of the um, uh, food products. Uh, I mean diary and eggs. Uh, you can see here. So to those group we added uh, those two, and that's why we have a lacto and ovo. They are still avoided meat, poultry, and fish. Um, uh, what about the nutritional value of those diets? The diet can be rich in the fats if the full fat diary products and eggs are used. Yeah, that's why, uh, from the nutritional point of view, uh, me we must be very careful when considering when considering nutritional value of those diet. Uh, and still keep the rule about those 75 percentage of the of the plant products in the diet in relation to the 25 animal product, which starts to be diary and eggs uh, 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 here, uh, because the diary product are uh, uh, mostly in our diet according to Polish uh, and European data in 30 percent they are sources sources of the saturated fatty acids uh, sometimes it's recommended when you have a patient from the uh, with the um, um, for example coronary heart disease or heart disease um, to use the low fat diary diary foods uh, so uh, just to consider because it's so individual and uh, we must realize uh, realize about of it yeah um, um interesting to point uh, uh, and to indicate is the macro macrobiotic mod modification of the vegetarian diets because um, uh, we still keep the grains legumes and vegetables uh, as a basis of the vegetarian diet um but um this type of the of the vegetarianism uh, um, 
uh, include much more variety of the grains. Uh, uh, um, uh, as you have written here, soy product, Asian condiments, uh, seafood might be consumed in my microbiotic diet. It depends how it's interpreted because the seven day Adv Adventists who are partially uh, macrobiotic diets, they perceive it differently. It uh, very often depends on the region. Yeah. Uh, foods avoided still, uh, uh, it's a meat, poultry, uh, uh, sometimes fish and dairy product. That's what I told you already about the, about the fishes and the eggs, of course. Um, uh, the special group of the vegetables they are they avoided as well. Um, uh, typical fruits and processed sweeteners as well. Uh, they are they are avoided generally in macrobiotic modification of the general diet. Yeah. Um, the guidelines for the processing and the uh, uh, intake of those diet. Uh, might need to be adjusted uh, to make uh, it uh, sustainable for the children. Yeah, I wouldn't talk too much and too deeply to a recommendation for because the children, because this is the ones that the pregnant woman children, they are most sensitive uh, group. So we must be really careful before we recommend uh, uh, the vegetarian diet, especially vegan diet. Um, but uh, but this type of the macrobiotic. Uh, uh, requires the vitamin B12 and D fortified foods uh, if the sun exposure as a previously uh, is uh, is inadequate. And let's go for the next step. Uh, I mean the fruitarian. This is the kind of the modification um, uh, I, I I will talk now. You can see them here. Uh, you see all varieties uh, 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 of the fruits that are botanically fruits. Yeah, uh, you can include tomatoes, eggplant, peppers, avocado, squash, nuts, seeds. Uh, um, uh, it's limited to eating the ripe fruits of plants and trees. Fruitarians or fructarians depends. Uh, it's pronounced differ, uh, differently on two ways. Uh, eat in principle only the fruit of plants. Some people consider themselves fruitarians even if their day, diet is not 100% uh, from fruit. Usually fruitarians who are include foods other than fruit follow a vegan di diet. Yeah? Uh, foods avoided uh, are, as you can expect, the uh, meat, fish, poultry, dairy product, eggs, grains, legumes, mo most vegetables. Some modified versions of this pattern might allow uh, grains uh, or uh, and legumes. Um, this is the type of the diet difficult to plan nutritionally adequate diets on a on a strict fruitarian plants. Yeah, um, they are generally not uh, suitable for the children. And this is this in here. Science is uh, it's agree with this. There is now no discussion. At least I didn't. Uh, I haven't seen any papers who would, would, would promote those diet for the for the for the children. Yeah. Um, uh, Next to the fruitarian, uh, there is a, there might be, uh, I don't have it here, but there is a vitarian, yeah? This is the same rule, but concerning the vegetables, it might be as well. They are so rare in the population, but they are, yeah, they exist. Um, raw foods, this is the uh, uh, type of the vegetarians who eating only raw foods. Um, uh, vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, uh, uh, sprouted grains, uh, beans, uh, all consumed in the raw state. Yeah? This is the general rule. Uh, but adherents might use raw dairy dairy products yeah the avoiding of course still keep the, the same rules so avoiding of the meat meat fish poultry any cooked plant foods yeah um, the percentage of the raw foods uh, in the diet might actually vary among the adherents from the um, small smaller 50 to the hundred percent um, 
completely raw food diet uh, is not appropriate for the children generally i would say that even not appropriate for the for the adults uh, sometimes we do it just for a while for the some period of the time um, but generally it's a uh, difficult to balance from the nutritional nutritional point of view and the last uh, the last um, information concerning the type of the diet uh, I would like to introduce uh, is the natural hygiene this is some aspect of the uh, of the practicing of the vegetarian diet um, uh, which are we must we must uh, um, we must consider as well um, so it concerned the uh, um, uh, avoiding or emphasizing, emphasizing, or, uh, emphasizing on the on the eating some certain food combination uh, or or just selected food, not merging them. Uh, uh, it's uh, difficult to give a quick example here because it might be so uh, so individual. Um, but um, uh, the same like with the foods avoided in, in here. It's a, it's a very, very individual. And after, uh, after this, um, uh, this part, this main part of the, uh, of the presentation and showing them the sources and the group uh, um, and names of the different foods, uh, which are diary, not diary, can be perceived as a diary, uh, the general vegetarian diet categorization, uh, uh, in conclusion, should look like that. Yeah. So uh, the, our audience should know and should distinguish between ovo vegetarianism, uh, lacto vegetarianism, lacto ovo vegetarianism, ve ve veganism as well. Uh, uh, the, I would like to pay your attention on the honey here because the honey something what is just uh, avoided in the veganism yeah so uh, uh, um, uh, this is is perceived like a, a animal product yeah uh, but it's not the general rule some of the vegans they they uh, they use the honey in their in their cooking as well um concerning uh, the general categorization of the vegetarian and the diets and characteristic uh, foods there um uh, and uh, just uh, some uh, short information uh, concerned uh, uh, and concluding that uh, Sioux vegetarianism, for example, uh, my, uh, coming from uh, Buddhism, uh, this is the type of the vegetarianism uh, uh, the, we might meet in the population uh, as well. It excludes, of course, all animal products uh, uh, and the fetid. Uh, vegetables like the onion, garlic, uh, leeks, shallots, for example. Um, uh, this uh, about the others I was talking already to you, so I wouldn't like to repeat, but I would like to realize my future audience about the additional practices uh, associated with the vegetarianism, especially with the veganism, because the fruitarianism or vitarianism is, is a is a veganism, uh, Buddhism, uh, vegetarianism uh, uh, in the Bud Buddhism is a uh, swell veganism, macrobiotic diets, they are a strong, uh, strict vegetarianism as well, so vegans diet. We have a, a huge group raw vegetarianism diets um, uh, uh, and, and uh, all that uh, all that uh, using and avoiding some uh, some special foods, not merging them, not using them, uh, uh, not using them as well. Yeah, as well. And I would like to just the, the, the concluding those categorization of the diet, explaining about the sources, just short discussion, which will be intro, introduction to the next, uh, next uh, classes, next, next training, um, where we will balancing uh, the vegetarian diet, because um, behind those types of the vegetarian diets, they follow the sources uh, of the nutrients and generally vegetarian diets 
uh, they are rich in carbohydrates, omega-6 fatty acids, dietary fiber, of course, carotino carotenoids, folic acids, vitamin C, vitamin E, potassium, magnesium. Uh, they uh, contain generally uh, lower levels of saturated fats, cholesterol, animal protein, cyanocobalamin, and vitamin D. And that moment we can discuss uh, they contain lower level or they don't have it at all, yeah? If we are talking about the veganism, of course they don't have it at all, they shouldn't have it. Uh, and that's the problem of the production and uh, 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 and uh, uh, working with that food, we are produce the food from them, for them, yeah? But um, there is a lot of the foods uh, uh, and the nutrients to consider uh, to consider um, um, the nutritional value of the vegetarian diet. What will be just a question mark and point for the discussion for the next classes, uh, which concern vitamin B12. Uh, I think that the uh, informa information about the uh, uh, sources of those vitamins for supplementation, fortification. Um, about the possibility of the production and digestive tract, if it is or not, just the, um, um, just discuss the myths uh, uh, related to it, because some of the group of the vegetarians, they promote the information that uh, uh, we can live without those vitamin uh, uh, the iron problems and there will be discussed on the bio, bio availability and the bio accessibility classes. The same with the calcium, uh, which is uh, crucial for bone health. And uh, of course, we have some uh, some uh, foods rich, uh, the plant foods rich and uh, in the tofu. The question marks concern bio availability. There are some methods to increase bio availability and bio accessibility, which will be discussed and prepare on those classes. The vitamin D, as I mentioned to you, uh, all that protections and the nutritional value of those vitamin uh, uh, and that's what is it, it, it she doing in, in our body protect us before the uh, uh, cancer genesis, uh, um, um, bones problems, etc. And the, I think it's um, a, a lot of optimistic information related to the sun exposure, yeah? Because in some areas where it's appropriate sun exposure, there is a no deficiencies um, uh, uh, in those vitamins and, and doesn't matter what kind of diet those population uh, 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 carry, yeah? Uh, Omega-3 fatty acids, that's the uh, important from cardiovascular disease. Uh, and luckily, the vegetarian diets, uh, and, uh, and the vegetarian diets, we can uh, we can find some uh, omega-3 fatty acid in the in the food. Uh, the, once again, this is discussion about bioavailability and transfer those uh, those uh, fatty acids depends on the level six or seven or, uh, of the course. We will discuss how uh, about the mechanism uh, uh, about the chemistry of this process. Yeah, zinc and iodine. This is two, uh, two last nutrients considered on the vegan, on vegan diet, and those one uh, should be discussed uh, discuss as well for the next uh, next uh, next unit and uh, on the next um, uh, next presentations. This is the uh, the moment I would like just to finish my presentation and thank you uh, for uh, for your uh, for your um, uh, for your uh, uh, watching and for your car. Bye bye.